Good morning everybody. We're coming to you from one of our possibly last caravan camping spots. Possibly. Possibly. So we're here to tell you about some exciting news. You can tell them. We're putting our bush tracker up for sale. And it's not because it's too little or it's not because it's too big or it's not because we want to update the van to a different van or a prettier van or a van even with more features because it's got everything nobody's offered us a van <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got everything you could possibly want for remoter long-term living and off-grid travel of course that's why we got it so we're here to let you know that it's going to be put up for sale the reason we're putting it up for sale it's because we can't afford both and we're having a new adventure and a bit of change intact you could say full change intact completely yeah. well we've bought a boat and in our upcoming episodes you'll understand exactly what we're doing but we can't have the van and it's got to be sold we will definitely continue on land travel in the truck so don't be concerned about that whatsoever and it will probably lean to more remote uh, off-grid four-wheel drive type travel. But we'll have a little boat to go to. But we've got a little <laughs> boat and a few other things. So. so it's very exciting, but it's exciting for you too, because if you need a van, ours is up for sale. <laughs> it is. We will put some of the specs just in the top of the comments section and all the information about the van will be on our website. We'll put a link to that as well. And just so you know, Bush Tracker won't make our layout anymore. Yeah, that's the end of that layout. I'm not sure why. It's what we believe anyway. It's not happening anymore, so it's a unique layout. It and we is. like the layout for long-term permanent living because you've got a separate bedroom area and a separate entertaining and cooking area and so on. So we really like it. Yeah. If we could keep it, we'd keep it. Yeah. But yeah. we can't. Yeah. And if it interests you, you can always check out our... Uh, <laughs> our what is it our run through our walkthrough video our van walkthrough and obviously its full history is there for everyone to see that's right so it's been a great van yes bogged the eyeballs and not we love it <laughs> and still love it yeah for sure we'll miss her but yeah. as we said we got some super adventures coming up so keep watching stay tuned yeah got some good <laughs> stuff happening <laughs> Hold on to 
end up lost in the mangroves for days because we don't know where we're going. Nah, we won't get lost, do we? That stinks. Whoa. Very boggy. We're in the bayou now. Oh, bayou. Da -da -ding, ding 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 I did hear some banjos. Da -da -ding, ding 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 ding. The boss told me to turn around again. Finally turned around. It's a bit shallow. A lot shallow. Well. Shallow, la 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 la, shalla la la la. la. Too much. Move that way. Move your ass over. You're crying. You're rougher than me. Oh, you're going to fall over. Yeah, I'm going to fall over. That's the adventure spirit. Opposite, is that right? What? If I pull it towards the note, you know.
out and catch us. It'll be you before we float away. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Foss. I'm going to need a oh. beer after that. Oh my gosh. Anyway. We lived. <sighs> I need a little break and do sit and have a sit and do some stuff. Where's the ore? Run out with me. Run out. Maiden voyage, oh, run out of fuel. <laughs> hey. Run out of fuel. Good job, husband. Uh, are you putting it up? Yep. So <laughs> bung has to come out when we get it up. Good. Good on that one. Okay. Now just with that, just pull on that and you should go. Yeah. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. If you'd like to be more involved, check out our Patreon page or our website 